Hello everyone and welcome back to another video here inside of Cold War Zombies. This video will be the fastest XP method that you guys can use right now to boost your XP and tier progression inside of Cold War. This method is hands down one of the best methods you guys can use right now for Cold War as not only are you guys getting fast XP, you guys get it in a very quick amount of time. So to do this method, I would recommend that you go ahead and use your double XP tokens. This is the first step. Do you know if you guys are not already aware, you can go to Warzone and then from there, you guys can use your extra MW tokens if you guys have them on Warzone. Anyways, I'd recommend using as much XP tokens as you can. Now, do you know there will be a double XP weekend happening, I think, this week, so you guys might want to hold off with the XP tokens. But for today's video, I want to show this method in the best way that I can, so I will be using a double XP token, but do you know that you guys don't have to use it. Now, the game mode this will be done in is the Dead Ops Arcade First Person Solo. Now, with this method, the one thing you guys want to always keep an eye out is for keys. The reason being is that the more keys you have, the more that you can progress through the game, meaning that the more keys, the more XP you will be getting in a short amount of time. With this method, you get around 575 XP per round. Now, if you guys have the double XP on, you guys will be getting around 575 XP per round. In total, for this method, we go through four rounds and then the rest I'll show you guys later, but basically, you guys are getting 2k XP in around five minutes, so that's pretty good. Do note in Dead Ops Arcade, the more rounds you go through, the more XP you will be getting per round. The reason why this is so important is that now you guys will see that the zombie's head will start spawning. Its zombie head will give you around 350 XP, which is a lot of XP, and do note there will be around 10 of these zombie heads spawning each game. Just know guys, in game, your zombie heads may spawn in different locations, just guys, keep an eye for these heads, and every time you see one, just take it out as soon as you can. So right there, 350 XP. Over there, another bonus, 350 XP. All right, guys, so an important part about this is that you are not going to want to teleport from the wild area. You're going to want to stay in this area. The reasoning for this is that instead of taking the exit wild approach, we will be actually going toward the mine areas. And the reason why is that in these areas, there will be more zombie heads to kill. Note, when you enter the deadly dungeon, there will be a key waiting for you. Make sure you guys pick this up as now you should be on two keys. So in the dungeons, the first thing you guys must consider is that there will be a kind of gargoyle type of boss fight you guys must destroy. In this, you guys will be getting around 1050 XP each time they spawn, so you guys might get 2 to 3 per dungeon. So here is the next gargoyle thing I'm going to take out, and doing this, I should be getting around 1050 XP, so that's 350, another 350, and there we go, 100, sorry, 1050 XP, that's pretty simple, but going through, you guys will see that there are some deadly mechanisms that can try and kill you, do you note, you don't have to exit the dungeon straight away, you can actually stay in the dungeon for a bit longer, just go through the dungeon and get rid of all of the type of boss heads that you can, the next type of boss area you may have is kind of like these two zombie heads just sitting in the corner. What I do is kind of a cheat. I basically just spam at the zombie head just like this. And eventually when the zombies get out of the way, you will start taking damage off the zombie head. This may take a bit of time, but you're way safer doing this and actually going in there and potentially getting killed. When you guys have done all of the deadly tunnel challenges, there will be a ladder which you must go to to exit the dungeon. Note, you can go to this ladder whenever you feel like it. However, I would recommend going through all of the deadly dungeons before doing so. The next thing I would recommend doing is trying to find this arcade. And now there is four potential spawns that you can find this arcade in. The first spawn can just be here located next to these type of bamboo fences. The next spawn can be located down in the kind of temple-ish areas over there. The first spawn can be located in this area here next to these type of brick walls. And the last spawn can be located a little bit further on in the Dead Ops Arcade, which I'll go through later. As I mentioned before, keys are very important for progressing through the arcade. You need at least two for this next part, however, to get another key, you guys have to come to this area here and just come toward this pillar. Stand on this pillar and there is a chance that the key will spawn on this type of mechanism over here. If there is a key, what you now want to do is use the flash ability toward the key like so. Anyways, the next thing you want to do is come to the arcade and hold square in the arcade and this will take you toward a bonus area. Here, there will be a bunch of zombie heads which you can destroy, giving you at least 350 XP per zombie head. When you guys are ready to exit the area, look toward the blue icon and then from here, just go toward the icon. Anyways, once you're ready, come toward the icon and then from here, you'll see that you'll get around, I think it's a thousand XP. Yeah, there you go, a thousand XP for completing that bonus trial. With that all said and done, come toward this area now and then you'll see that there will be a zombie head spawning right here. Toward the right of the zombie head, there will be a kind of cavern. With going into this cavern, this will be another bonus area. And in this area, there will be a bunch of Megatons that spawn in. Basically, what you want to do is kill the Megatons. And every time you kill a Megaton, you will get XP for it. Anyhow, once you guys have had enough of this, come toward the exit. Just exit the area like so. 
A quick thing to note is that you can find extra keys looming around the area. Example, in this area here, you can find a key most of the time. When you come here, there may be a zombie head that will spawn, but basically, once you've killed the zombie head, come toward this door, and then you will have to insert a key into it. Now, once you have done that, make your way up to this area here, and again, put another key into this door. Alright, so here onwards is where you're going to be getting most of your XP. Once you first get to this area, there will be a zombie head right here, so simply get rid of that zombie head, and then continue on. Alright, so the next part can be a little tricky, but once you get around here, there will be a massive boss zombie that will spawn in. At this point, once you get under the bridge, the boss zombie can only hit you with its shield attack. Another thing you guys can do is sit behind this rock over here and just spam it from a distance, and then once it does its shield attack, go behind the cover and then look back and keep on shooting at it. So once you have killed the boss zombie, this will give you around 1000 XP, so that's a lot of XP that you can get easily by killing one of these boss zombies. Once you get to this type of village area, there will be a boss zombie, and there also will be two zombie heads which you can destroy. And with this boss zombie, come toward this bridge and just keep on shooting under the bridge and you should be fine from its attacks. When it does its shield attack, simply dodge under the bridge and then from here he should miss you like so and then just keep on shooting at him. This will then grant you another 1000 XP which is great for your level and right now we are around 4 levels in and guys it's been around 10 minutes and we've already gotten 4 levels which is a lot of XP. Just keep on going around the map looking for boss zombies and basically every time you see a boss zombie kill it and that's how you get your XP. And there you go, another 1000 XP for killing another boss zombie. At this point, feel free to go through the game, and when you get to around this area, there will be a bunch of dogs coming after you, and also an elephant. The best advice I can give is going for all of the heads, and eventually you should go through all of the heads in the game. When you guys go across the elephant, make sure you guys keep some distance between you and the elephant, as this guy can easily kill you if you're not careful. And once you kill the elephant, he will drop you a thousand XP, and again, that's just a grab, you know, little bonus XP that you can get by easily killing the bosses. At this point, get the dune buggy, do some drifts and stuff, but at this point, there will be another elephant and a bunch more heads to kill, so make sure you guys are careful and watching out for these type of things. There we go, that's the bat thing killed. If you guys come here, there will be two death machines which you can grab, so grab these if you want to be safe. With this, come to the elephant, and then from here, well, he's dead. There you go, level up, and also a thousand bonus XP, lovely jubblies. When you guys get here, you will need another key, so with this key, come toward this door and then access the door. Make sure you guys are watching out for the dragon's breath, and then what you want to do is come to this left side, and then you will access a new area. If you guys want to come here, there will be more trees which you can grab, and honestly, just stay safe. If you guys want to grab potentially more keys, come toward this area here, and you will notice that there will be a key waiting over there. To get the key, jump over the ladders, and then from here, you can just get yourself two easy keys. So, open the next door in front of you, this will grant you 250 XP, but from here, there will be a big mountain that you must go through. The Brutus is a kind of bullet sponge, but keep on taking him out, eventually you will kill him, and then moving on, there will be a skull head to kill, so kill that skull head and just continue moving up the hill. Alright, so at this point, there will be two areas which you can go to, one being to the left and one being to the right. The first thing I'd recommend you do is go to the right, because at the top, there will be a boss zombie waiting for you. With this guy, I would recommend keep on backing off, and as you're doing so, keep on shooting him, and eventually, you should kill him. And when you guys kill him, you will get another 1000 XP. Alright, so once you guys have dealt with the boss zombie, go across the bridge, and then from here, there will be a little zombie head which you can take out. If you come here, there will be yet again another dungeon, so go down the dungeon, and then from here, keep on killing more zombie heads to get more XP. Once you guys have exited the dungeon, take the route toward the front of you, and this will take you to more of a castle type of area. By the way, a thing I forgot to mention is that your last two keys will be located in this type of area. Basically, when you guys are ready, come toward this rock over here, and there will be a bounce pad which you can bounce off. So simply bounce off the bounce pad, and then go forward, and then you should drop onto this molten rock. On the rock, grab your two keys, and then continue on with your game. So with these keys, come to the castle, then unlock the first door, and then furthermore, unlock the second door. A quick tip is that if you look to your right, there will be an extra passageway which will lead to some more extra rewards. So going into this tunnel, if you look to your right, there will be a blight father to simply kill this guy for an extra 1000 points. And just like so guys, another extra 1000 XP. At this point, feel free to exit the world and that's basically it for this method. Just go around the map killing as much things as you can and then you should be able to get a bunch of XP in a very short amount of time. Also guys, do note you will get a 1750 XP bonus from exiting the wall, so that's always handy. And from here guys, feel free to end your game, that's pretty much it, that's all you have to go through, and honestly, it's a great XP method, you guys can get a bunch of levels quickly, and honestly, it's great.
So boys, in around 20 to 25 minutes, I got around 4 to 5 levels worth of XP. Honestly, if you guys are utilizing your double XP, you guys will be able to get a lot of XP in a short brief of time. So this is a definitely great XP method to do. Anyways, that concludes today's video. If you guys have enjoyed the video, then do please consider smashing the like button as it does help the video spread out to more viewers on the platform. Until next time, goodbye.